सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल सेशन आई वुड से एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम रियलिटी अलोंग विद सम हाइपोथेसिस सो लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर एंड व्हाट आई हैव डन हियर सो आई जस्ट ओपन गूगल एंड आई हैव टाइप्ड रेडिट सिल्वर एंड देन आई हैव टाइप्ड 1000 नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग यू विल गेट हियर इज दिस आर्टिकल फ्रॉम रेडिट where you can actually get uh this from the wall street bets that silver biggest short squeeze in the world and uh i think it's 2 or 3 days old and as you can see in the number of uh, viewers it's like 5000 and <clears throat> they are saying that if you adjust the price uh, it will be a $1000 per ounce instead of $25 uh, which you can see in the market and you have seen that the silver price has shot up from uh, 23 24 to nearly to 30 dollars per ounce now uh, so here we have the charts and all those things are uh, already available now the thing is i'm not going to discuss about the repercussions obviously we are going to cover some of that as per my understanding because this is a very big thing this is not like you can grab each and every bull by its horn but the thing is <clears throat> uh the kind of impact it creates so there is always a two side of the coin okay and one must hold themselves liable for this okay and what i'm saying here is uh, i'm not uh i can't talk about the legalities and what kind of regulatory action it will follow but the thing is if they enter into the silver as you can see lots of mining stock has also started running and it will probably <laughs> rise much faster than the silver and it is because when you hit a commodity the impact will be global and it is not like what has happened to uh, i mean game stock and amc it's particular to us market but when you're talking about silver then it is not bounded by any country so the rippling impact it will create and the kind of trading moves you will see in different sorts of stocks so you must be very aware of these kind of things and if you want to enter into these kind of trades then you must be very much aware about the risk so this is very important now what i'm let me tell you quickly that what i'm going to do in this video that once hypothetically if it is possible okay uh, whomsoever are short on silver so let's say uh, they started covering their shorts now you have a price target uh, people have said so it's going to be 1000 rather than 23 or 25 so i mean i thought would it be possible to look at the chart and see whether it is possible or visible on the chart and how much is actually visible even if i draw some trend which i can exaggerate a bit i mean this should be uh, you know this must consider into the limitation or the time frame or the trend frame of the technical analysis but let us see that what what we could actually get if we try try to draw a big trend uh, so what you can see on your screen is the silver futures so this is the ice commodity now <clears throat> and this is the monthly chart so you have the chart available from 1973 so you have 47 or 48 years worth of data and as you can see here the silver future so it's been limited by its movement okay so on the upside you have 50 dollars and on the downside you have something like this so <clears throat> on the downside you have two of two or four dollars let me show you so here we go so this is what you can see on your screen so with the current long term trend what we have here so on the downside you have your big support and that will be in between here we have 
four dollars and you have three point six okay and your middle mid level support will come at or near so you have fourteen dollars then you have twelve point eight five and you have yeah we have eleven point three so these are the mid level supports and the upper end of the range is <clears throat> 51 dollars so technically the next big target for silver futures if you're looking at silver future chart will be at or near to 50 or 51 dollars and technically if a particular financial instrument consolidate for like 40 or 50 years so we should not go beyond 51 or we should not uh, make a forecasting beyond the range so here in this case you have 3.6 on the downside and you have uh, 51 on the upside now as per the news what we can see <clears throat> that they have set a target of uh, 1000 <laughs> okay so you have your target now we need to check that whether it is possible or not so let me show you uh, some uh, technical uh, statistical uh, ways to uh, define a trend and what we can expect let's say if the stock or if this commodity makes a breakout above 51 okay so the first thing you could probably do here is <clears throat> you can count the previous here we have previous run so from the lower end to the higher end of the range and it is saying from the lows of 1992 3.55 to the highs of uh, 2011 49 50 51 dollars it is actually ran 1284 percent 1284 percent so if a breakout happens after 51 and if it sustains that's also an important thing then we can at least expect the same amount of run okay which is 12.1284. So if I could work something like that, 1284. So the number which I am getting here is something like this. It is 700. Okay. So if I use this technique, what the number that I will get here is the next big target that we, we can expect after 51 dollar will be 700 or 711 dollars <clears throat> now let me show you with the help of trend now if i draw a trend so what could i probably see here so you have something like this and i can use so you have one support here one support here and you have something like so here you can find <coughs> your two or three supports and on the upside okay even if i don't use this support that's fine because i have drawn enough lines and you may or may not able to see it so if i just remove this line this is fine what we need to for what we're trying to find out is the higher end of the range so if i draw a resistance line so matching your previous uh, yeah we have trends so the number we could probably get here even there is a parabolic rise even there so I'm not saying X Y or Y or Z that is going to happen because silver may rise less compared to other stocks which are related to minerals, minings, precious metals and all those things. Now, if you consider a parabolic or a linear rise like this, okay, so if you can compare or if you can probably see if there is something like this, okay, here. So what we are expecting here is a target which is actually closer to or close to 559 dollars so you have two very close target you have 477 and 559 and it could extend up to 700 
so i mean thousand dollar is fine if or you can use gan chart or something there are n number of tools to satisfy yourself so let me use that as well so that everything uh, will be clear okay so so let us see whether it works or not okay because we need to match up each and everything now what it will show here is the first is like 45 then you have 103 then you have uh, here we have 450 or something then it could rise to 14000 or 20000 okay if you are using something like this or you if you apply a trend like this okay if i use that line as a trend trend line then you have here 474.80 then you could uh, this price could actually move towards 22,000 okay so I don't know whether these things are possible or not and they I mean a bunch of people are saying something like this so I thought it would be uh, I mean interesting to see hypothetically if you can look things or hype things up and if you can see that if there is a such thing if it happens whether it is visible in trend so what you can actually calculate or see in trend uh, will probably start for 477 and it can actually go up to 700 dollars so it is pretty much visible and i don't want to make anything because here i am not giving any time any any kind of trend or something so what we are discussing over here is nothing like that something is possible or not but as i have said a couple of minutes back the kind of ripple effects first if things like that happening on continuous basis a time after time it will break the market there will be a point so i don't want to discuss this thing over here but these are some of the risks which you need to understand because this is something like who is the last one and the person or the uh, number of person who left at the last they are the one who left with nothing first thing second if the rise if somebody is expecting a parabolic rise like this then one must be prepared for the kind of you know linear fall that has followed by the para by, by a linear rise that's what happened in stocks in each and every kind of financial instrument because there there will be a point it's not like hundred ten thousand uh, one hundred thousand it doesn't matter number doesn't matter but there will be a point when nobody dares to get beyond a certain number and person those who are smart enough they must have get before others will so that's where the risk lies so understand this thing and no fundamental in the world okay i'm not a kind of person who will say that this will not happen or that will not happen if something is going up i, I said it many times and i'm saying it now that if something is going up i will say that it is going to go up if something is going down we will say the same thing we are not going to mince our words but the thing is do you understand the risk along with the profit that's the main thing so if you draw a line or if you try to find out a trend and if there is any sort of parabolic rise but understand that we are playing with the commodity and if there is such thing you will see different things started moving up and different sorts of stock across the globe will started jumping up and this may cause inflation this may cause inflation because it is not uh, specific to a stock but it is specific to a commodity and silver is one of those commodities where it is uh, a product for industrial usage as uh, usage as well and there are lots of things which are happening with silver so if things are going to go up so does the raw material cost for each and every industries those who are using 
silver as their raw material product by product they are using 10% 5% or 100% doesn't matter the price of everything is going to go up and so does the inflation so things looks great when you made money but understand the risk so i'm saying it again again and again but that's the truth you need to understand so if you want to enter in this kind of game you should know how to exit so this is the end of the video if you like this content do share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe my channel lastly take care of your family and friends